Ooh, this one is really exciting. With the May 2022, Power BI introduced one of the most game-changing features ever, field parameters. Does it make sense? Let me explain. Using field parameters, we can create reports on which you can show any dimension or any field with a click. In simple terms, what it means is, imagine you are the data analyst at Awesome Apps and your boss asks you, hey, can you make a graph showing how many downloads we are getting by per app? So you create a nice visual in Power BI. Just as your boss is looking at that visual, she changes her mind and wants to know how many five star ratings all of these apps are getting. You don't have to go back and create a brand new visual. You can use the field parameter so that your boss can just choose what they want and instantly the visual will update. This is really game changing feature for Power BI and I'm excited to share this with you in this quick demo. Let's go. So let's understand how to use them. As you can see here, this is the quick demo. I can select any type of a metric or measure and then it will show me the graph for that. So total one star, five star ratings, five star percentage, uninstalls or uninstall ratio and then automatically my visual updates. So I'm going to show you how to make this from scratch. To use field parameters, you need to have at least May 2022 version. To find out which version of Power BI you have, just go to help ribbon and click on about and then that should show up at least May 2022. To enable the field parameter functionality, you then go to file options and settings options and from the preview feature area, enable the field parameters. This is a one time thing and eventually field parameters will become mainstream feature, but right now they are in the preview mode. We'll go to a blank page and here you need to have a table or multiple tables really. It doesn't matter. And within the table right now, I have got my awesome apps data. So if I go to my data view, you will see that in this table I have got for each month, each app, how many downloads we have, how many uninstalls, five star, one star and total ratings. Based on these, I have created some simple measures. For example, total one star ratings is a sum of one star ratings column. Likewise, total downloads is sum of downloads column. Once these measures are set up, then you will go to the modeling ribbon and from here you will find the new parameter function. So click on that and then select the field option. Earlier we were able to only do numeric range and now you can do a field option. So we'll click on the field and we'll give this a name. For example, this name would be demo measure selector. And then here you can add any fields. So I'm going to go to my Americas data and then just add five star percentage, all ratings, total downloads and uninstall ratio. Just a bunch of measures really. And then when you create, this is going to create a slicer as well as a table. The slicer has some weird formatting. So let's just fix that. So within this slicer, now all of your measures will be listed. Whatever measures you have set up, five star rating, all ratings, total downloads and uninstall ratio. And to make a visual that connects to this slicer, you just create the visual. So for example, I'm going to go and look at the trend of these things. So I will add a line chart in this line chart on the X axis. I'm going to put my month and on the Y axis, which is my value. I'm going to go to demo measure selector and then put this value there. Right now it is showing me an aggregated value at 2021. I'm going to drill this down for individual months so that we can see the monthly trend of our five star ratings. And if I want to see all the ratings, I can select that and I'll see how many ratings we have received month on month. The trend is different. Total downloads, uninstall ratio. So this is really how you use the field parameters. There are two ways to use field parameters. One is through measures and another is through the fields. So I'm going to show that to you. I will go to the page two here and then this time we will go modeling new parameter fields and this time we will say demo column selector and from here I'm just gonna add my app as well as month. What this will do is it will give you a slicer from which I can select either app or month 
and then use that to see my graphs. So we'll see how this one works. I'll create this again. And then to set up, I'm gonna make a column chart. Within this column chart, we can see either our total downloads by the app or by month. So in this column chart on the X axis, we will use the demo column selector field and add that to the X axis. And on the Y axis, we'll select our measure, which would be, let's just say total downloads. So because app is selected, I'm gonna see one app per item on the X axis along with their total downloads here. And if I switch this to month, see the magic? Wingardium Leviosa. I'm gonna see my monthly trend here. So same graph, but it shows me two different things based on what I picked. How awesome is this? Hey, how do you like the field parameters demo? I'm really excited to try these ones out in my upcoming dashboards as well as classroom training programs. Do let me know what you are going to do with the field parameters using the comments box below. And if you want a little more on Power BI, check out my Power BI tips playlist that is shown on the screen. I'll catch you in one of these places. Bye-bye.